Before I start, if you're wondering about the aluminum foil, it's because Reggie keeps landing on this chair and is ruining it. Hello, welcome back to Induction Studios. I'm moving or hoping to move. My wife and I uh, and our two-year-old son and our two dogs and our two cats and fish are outgrowing this little house. We got it back in 2015 and it was a great first house for my wife and I just starting out. We had our bedroom and we had a room for my office and um, now that we have little Steven, he is currently in a toddler bed in our bedroom, which is super cute every morning to him waddling over to the bedside and saying good morning. But um, yeah, we're starting to look at bigger houses in the area and we are starting the process of listing our house on the market. And it's a lot of work. <laughs> So yeah, we're starting the kind of pre-moving process, packing up about 50% of our stuff. Sorry, I just got really overwhelmed. Um, my coffee hasn't kicked in yet. So Stephen never sleeps in this late. Um, so I kind of want to let him sleep. But let me show you some of the things that we're doing to prep to move. Oh no. There's a raccoon outside. So here's that big backyard I was talking about. Um, this is where we had the above ground pool, which we're probably just gonna sell with the house because um, it's gonna be too obnoxious to move and unless we find something with a lot of backyard space in our new house. This is where I was planning to put a, a, a shed area. Right now it's just, holds a bunch of junk that I need to take to the dump. Dump. Perfect timing, Grace. We also had this really old, ugly fan in the kitchen, which we replaced with a nicer one that matches the, the lights here, um, which there were no lights in this room when we got it. Aspen, stop it. One thing that we'll be looking for in a new house is a, a bigger kitchen. This one's like, just like square footage is, is big, but there's just not that much counter space. I'd love to have an island or a bar where people uh, can sit on the other side. Something else we did is we replaced my office door, this closet door, the bedroom door, and the bathroom door uh, with these six panel white doors. They were all this kind of wood color and it just, it brightens up this hallway a lot. Plus, well, let me show you. So this is my project for today, is to work on the garage and uh, try to get this corner cleaned up a little bit so I can get to these cabinets. But these are the old doors. When Grace was a puppy, this is what she did to the inside of the bedroom door. And then I accidentally punched a hole in my office door when I was getting after Reggie for squealing. I was attempting to do the Monsters Inc. meme where Big Bird, yeah, the haircut meme. Finally, the bathroom door, which Puppy Grace also kind of chewed on. So that's why we replaced them. Okay, so I'd like to be able to at least pull Shay's car into the garage. So first I gotta get rid of all of the sawdust from the doors. Um, and then I gotta work over there. Put it down flat, put it down. There you go, take it to the trash. Oh, good job, you got most of it in. So this corner has just kind of piled up with the most random things. Um, I don't want to kind of get it cleared out because in these three cupboards are either stuff that we can get packed up or paint that we need to get to to uh, touch up the house. I want to get to this stuff so we got to take care of this stuff. Starting with something that I'm going to put in the rafters because this is some extra carpet that we'll probably just leave for the next owners. 
Do you like my helmet? So this is Steven's first uh, height chair and he got it so gummed up that it stopped working right. So I'm going to put this in our uh, to the dump pile, which is in the backyard. So one of the things that I struggled with at this house is my limited studio space. Uh, I have a lot of light stands and, you know, green screens and places to hang those green screens, but really nowhere to put it except for, you know, here in this garage, which is really usable during the hottest and coldest times of the year, plus it's not very soundproof. Um, so I'm looking forward to finding a place where I can actually utilize this stuff. Well, got half a dozen light stands and a green screen mount all in one bag. I'd say that's pretty efficient. Much better. I can now get to all of these cupboards. And the bottom one here is my favorite. <laughs> it's a little janky because I had a uh, created a, a battery pouch, but yeah. So this guy is my uh, FN Scar airsoft rifle. Um, the magazine is jammed for some reason. I don't remember it being like that. I have a sniper scope on it. This thing, this thing sucks. <laughs> I named it Shasid for a reason. I, I, I didn't really get many people with it. Someday, I'll use it as a prop in a short film of some sort. I forgot I had a few more pistols which are in that backpack, this G3 and this bolt action rifle, which are all pretty much just props at this point. So one ugly thing in the kitchen here is these four face plates that don't match. So we picked up a bunch of nice white ones. Oh, that is so much better. You're, you're, you're sitting on the dirty floor after I tell you to put your boots on so your feet don't get dirty. Now your butt's dirty. So one half of our garage is already starting to quickly build up with stuff that we're pre-packing and getting out to declutter say the main living area is starting to look very nice and open compared to the rug and the ottoman uh, that was here the curio cabinet that was there I'm starting to go around with the paint that we got yesterday and touch up paint on these different walls touched up paint here by these new outlets so when you don't have a shredder here's the one thing you do with confidential information there we go but weird way of mentioning it, but yeah, I got a new weed whacker. That's that was a box to it. Ah, here's what I need. So today I'm going to be sanding and touching up paint on the outside of my house so it can look all pretty when we try to sell it, which is hopefully soon. Okay, so here's where we're at. We could potentially be putting our house on the market in a few days, which was not the original intention. We got a lot to do in that time. So we made a list. Here's a picture and picture of it because I was too lazy to bring it outside with me. One of the big things I gotta do is get this yard in shape. Over here I have some old chairs uh, and some firewood. The chairs, among with all of this junk, has to go to the dump. Our realtor was nice enough to lend us his trailer. Here's the before shot. You'll see the after shot later. And I uh, got some last second help. So I got the man himself, Ricky Theme uh, Lumpied. Here's all his social media if you wanna follow him. I am not held responsible for anything he posts, but yeah, I'm, I'm just putting it out there. Yeah, they're all, uh, they're all torn up. Something to keep in mind when making a dump run, if it's gonna get trashed either way, you might as well have some fun.
And now a brief montage of me unloading the trailer and enjoying it way too much. <laughs> well, my office is pretty much showing ready. Removed all the panels, patched all the holes, touched up all the paint, um, removed pretty much everything except just my desk. Yeah. I never want to move again. Thanks for sticking around. I really appreciate you watching. If you enjoyed it, give that like button a press and feel free to subscribe. This will be a multi-part series. Uh, the next one will be of our house hunting process and then hopefully one of us moving into our new home. So yeah, thanks for watching and I got five more seconds until I fade out and just uh, abruptly get cut off.